Welcome and thanks for taking a tour of ArcServe Unified Data Protection version 6. In this video we will take a look at the Gateway or Sites feature in UDP. The Gateway feature allows sites to be centrally managed and limits the number of ports that need to be opened in the remote firewall. Configuring the Gateway is done in three easy steps. We will add a remote site to the UDP console, install the RPS and agent at the remote site, install and register the Gateway. Let's go to the Resource tab in the UDP console. Let's go down to the Sites section under Infrastructure and let's choose Add a Site. Let's name our site, choose our heartbeat interval, and specify the UDP console that's going to manage the remote location. Select Next. Next we'll take a look at the installation instructions. A link will be provided to download the gateway piece and an authorization code will be provided. This information can be copy and pasted at the remote site. Or if we have email configured, this can be emailed to the remote location as well. Let's copy the information and log in to a remote server. At the remote location, I've gone ahead and connected to the download link and launched the gateway executable. We'll accept the license agreement, select Next, choose our destination folder. We already have the UDP recovery point server installed on this machine, so we will choose the same destination by default. Select Next. We can manually configure a proxy or use the proxy settings in IE and Chrome. Select Next. Provide the port and credentials. Let's go ahead and copy our authorization code and paste it into the authorization code section. Select Next. An overview of the services and programs that will be registered with the firewall are listed. We'll select Next. It's ready to install, so let's select Install. And now the gateway piece is installing on our remote location. The requirements for the remote location is that an agent must be installed and a recovery point server must also be installed. Once our installation is done, we'll have an installation report. We'll see that it's successfully installed and we'll select Finish. Let's go back to our UDP console at our local site. Back in our Resource tab, under Infrastructure, under Sites, You'll see that the remote site is now listed, the UDP console that's managing it, and the name of the host, as well as the version information and how frequently we're sending heartbeats. Also, we now have a drop down list and can manage our different sites. Let's manage the remote site. We'll select Remote Site, Let's go up to All Nodes, let's add a node, let's add that remote server. We'll go ahead and just add it by domain name. Provide a credentials, give it a description, add it to the list, and save it. We've now added a node to our remote site. If we go back to our local site, you'll notice that that node is not listed. Let's go back to the remote site and let's create a backup plan. Under All Plans, we'll add a plan. Let's name the plan. Select a type of backup. We'll do agent based windows. We'll add our node. We have the one node that we're going to move over. Select OK. Choose our destination. It'll default to a recovery point server. Here's our remote recovery point server and the data store on that server. Do we wish to enable a password? What's our schedule? and we'll stick with the daily infinite incremental backup schedule. Let's generate catalog files. In advance gives us the option to truncate SQL and exchange logs, run scripts before and after the backup, permissions to do that, and enable email alerts. We'll go ahead and save. and that plan will be deployed out. If 
we go back to all nodes, we'll notice that a warning was reported on that node. Let's take a look at the warning. The ArcServe UDP Recovery Point Server data store is configured on volume E. This volume will not be backed up. Since our plan included backing up the Recovery Point Server, let's take a look at that. Let's go back to all plans. Let's go into the plan. Choose that server. And we can actually select the individual volumes that we wish to be protected. Let's go ahead and save. Once again it will deploy. Let's go back to all nodes and our warning is gone. If we go to actions for that node, we can do all the normal actions that we could do as if it was on our site. We could modify the plan, we can log into the agent, we can back up now, we can restore now, we can even create an instant VM now. For the remote site location, we also have the jobs tab where we can see all the same information we'd see for a local site. We can see the jobs that are running in progress, any jobs that failed, canceled, successful jobs. We can view the reports tab, see backup size trending reports, backup status reports, data distribution on media reports. We can view logs. We can go into the settings for that site as well. We have the same functionality within the remote site that we would within the local site. This concludes our tour of ArcServe Unified Data Protection version 6 gateway feature. We saw how to install and configure the UDP gateway. Managing remote sites is easy and can be done from the central console. Creating plans, running backups, reviewing reports, all can be done within the central console. Watch for additional videos covering the many capabilities in ArcServe Unified Data Protection version 6. For more detailed information, please review the content on ArcServe.com or you can contact and chat with an ArcServe sales representative. Thank you.